Miss Florence may be known for her fondness of cats, but did you know that she sometimes kept dozens of feline friends at a time? One of the cats that called Miss Florence's house home was Mittens. Although Mittens did end up leaving the house because there were just too many cats living there, she's back today to give us a little tour of the museum. She will guide us through some of the ways the place has changed over the years, sharing interesting bits of history along the way. Let's start off with the Griswold House. Since she lived alone as an adult, my owner, Florence Griswold, decided to make money by turning her home into an artist's boarding house. Miss Florence welcomed artists into her home for many years, and all of their artwork is displayed on the walls. Of course, since I am a cat, you might think that I wanted to scratch the paintings, but they were just too pretty to ruin. Downstairs is one artist's bedroom, and it was definitely the fanciest out of them all. Only the best artists got to stay here. If we walk out of the bedroom in the orientation gallery, we will see a small hallway straight ahead. This contains Miss Florence's bedroom. This bedroom was one of my favorite places to take a nap because I had a warm, cozy fireplace, and plus, it was the only place I could stay an afternoon without artists trying to kick me out. Now, if we walk this way, the dining room is just a few steps down the hall. In the dining room, artists would gather and eat after a long day of painting. Sometimes they shared a little food with me, but I usually refused, as they only like fish. The dining room is filled with paintings, the fox chase being one of the most famous. It was almost nine feet long and shows a pretend fox hunt going on in the town of Old Lyme, Connecticut. This painting features many famous artists who stay in the boarding house and really helps you to learn more about the art colony. Not surprisingly, my favorite part of the painting is the cat. Since I am a cat, I mean, that's kind of obvious, isn't it? <laughs> Finally, in the main hallway, there is a door to a parlor where artists used to play games and relax. I might have tried a few times to join in the wiggle game, but I guess cat paws aren't meant to hold a pencil. <laughs> Upstairs, there used to be several bedrooms where artists stayed, but today they just have paintings on the walls. Now let's move on to the gardens. My owner loves to garden. She mostly enjoyed planting lots of bright colored flowers and plants, but she also kept a small fruit and vegetable garden. It would have been great if she grew some catnip plants, but I don't think she did. Although she might have. I'm getting old and my brain is kind of having a hard time remembering. One of the more noticeable things you'll see is the building where the galleries are located. A hundred years ago, this building didn't exist, and there was just a lot of land in this place. Some artists used to paint in this area, and there might have even been a few artist studios located here. Just beyond the galleries, there is a wide patch of grass and the Lieutenant River. When I was young, the artists loved to paint near the river and catch a breeze in the hot summer sun. I didn't spend that much time down here, but when I did, I enjoyed seeing the beautiful art being created. Oh, how I wish I could paint too! The only thing I'm really talented at is climbing trees, and obviously climbing trees outside wasn't something I was allowed to do. The Chadwick Studio can be found near the parking lot, and it was used by William Chadwick, hence its name. Even though the building was originally located somewhere else in Orlando, most of it is still the same as it was back then. There were two parts of Mr. Chadwick's studio, the workshop, which was used to store things, and the room where he actually painted. Sometimes I like to walk in and watch the process of painting, lying down on the small day bed. I wasn't always allowed into the studio though, so it was almost like a special occasion when I got the chance. My favorite painting by Mr. Chadwick is the one called On the Piazza and it's a pretty famous painting. Well, it seems like we've toured all of the interesting areas of the museum. Just wait a second. Let me catch a breath here. 
old cats like me aren't meant to walk so much in one day. <sighs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed coming along with me to explore the wonderful Foreign Squizzle Museum. If you'd like to learn even more about the museum, then be sure to stop by sometime and see everything I mentioned in real life. Have a great rest of your day!